As you mentioned, many already taken to the skies and hitting the roads for the holidays. AAA says more than 115 million Americans will travel 50 miles or more over the holiday stretch. More than five, seven and a half million will fly, and tomorrow is expected to be one of the most congested days on the roads. So let's send things right out to Fox 5's Antoine Lewis, who joins us live from Vince Lombardi Service Area in Ridgefield, New Jersey. How's it looking out there tonight, Antoine? Okay, Steve, so wait, all modes of travel and transportation are going to be busy, as you just pointed out, in particular the roads, which Scott Journal, photojournalist Scott said I was going to give you a look at right now, and this is the Jersey Turnpike now. Okay, so we're talking about a mix of just regular Friday traffic, people trying to get in or out, as well as those who are on the road for the holidays, but the bottom line is this, if you have not left already, you may not want to do so right now. More than 150 million Americans will travel 50 miles or more this holiday stretch. Of that number, 104 million will drive, which is up nearly 2%. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Daniel Sullivan among them. And go visit some family uh, up in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Uh, so much looking forward to seeing them and sharing in family love and, and good cheer and, and making memories to last a lifetime. Experts say favorable gas prices are also playing a role, something David Meeks noticed while heading to Connecticut from Virginia. Coming up here, it's, it's cheaper. I've seen it about 50 cents cheaper than the last time I came up here. So you're okay with that? Yeah. Some seven and a half million are expected to fly over the next 10 days, but experts do not expect a repeat of this from last year, when 16,000 flights were canceled and scores of others delayed. European basketball star Kenny Horton says he was a little nervous when leaving Portugal for Newark Liberty International Friday morning. Today when I was leaving Lisbon, the passport control was backed up like crazy. So I literally just made my flight like right before they closed the doors. So it was it was tough. I know a lot of people didn't make it. AAA says that while travel numbers are up across the board as compared to 2022, some things never change. The need to leave early. Tomorrow the 23rd is one of the worst. Uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Day among the best. Oh. Um, but any day that you travel, you have to get out on the road early. Before noon, before 10. So you left New Hampshire at 4 and you headed to Sarasota? I'll be there tomorrow afternoon because I'm going to stop for six hours. Okay, so as you come back to us live, Stephen, you can see it's moving. It's it's a going <laughs> in some direction. The only thing we can add to that, you heard AAA say you may want to wait until tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be busy, but the main thing is pack patience because you will likely need it. Back inside to you. For sure. As always. All right, thanks, Antoine.